To show you some of the situations you should know how to handle, we're going to take a tank through a theoretical combat course. Various situations will be illustrated, each of which presents a different problem as regards selection of targets, type of ammunition, use of machine gun or cannon or both together, maneuvering and taking cover. In each case, you will have to think quickly, figure all the factors and do the right thing. To make it realistic, you will be under simulated hostile fire. Let's figure that's your tank. It's loaded with live ammunition as though for actual combat. Button up tight and adjust your periscopes. They give you the red flag and you're off. All right, suppose now you're in hostile territory. The first thing you run into is an enemy machine gun nest directly ahead of you, about 200 yards away. Notice that the finishing touch consists of running down the enemy position, smashing the gun for good. If you run into enemy machine guns strongly emplaced and machine gun fire doesn't get the desired results, use HE. Let's take another look at that action on a sand table. An enemy machine gun in your line of fire opened up on you. You kept moving and returned the fire immediately with your own machine guns. It wasn't necessary to make for cover. A machine gun can't do you much harm while you're buttoned up. Using your machine gun conserved your big gun's ammunition. In a medium tank, you carry about 8,000 rounds for your machine gun and about 100 for your 75. In this next problem, another machine gun opens fire on you, this time from your left flank. At the same time, an anti-tank gun starts blazing away from the front. Now what are you going to do? You have two enemy guns firing at you at the same time. In a situation like this, forget the enemy machine gun and move to cover, firing at the primary target, the anti-tank gun, while moving. That's what your gyro stabilizer is for to help you shoot accurately while on the move. In this case, there's another reason for ignoring the enemy machine gun. Being off to one side of your path of advance, it's a job for the tank on that side of you. Once you reach cover, maneuver to a firing position as near the primary target as possible, unless you've already knocked it out. Now fire from a stationary position with HE set for delayed action against the anti-tank gun. Move after each couple of shots. Keep the enemy guessing, and you can lamb into him before he knows where you are. Keeping in mind the things you've just learned, watch this next situation carefully. Here are enemy personnel on your right. And up ahead is an enemy gun waiting for you. You fire at the enemy gun without stopping and disregard the infantry. After you've knocked the gun out, continue on your way. To get this entire situation onto the sand table, all distances have been shortened. You saved yourself a lot of trouble by quick thinking. You picked the primary target, the anti-tank gun. You kept moving toward it, which was right in this case, because cover was too far off on your flank to be of any use. And you fired while you moved. You ignored the secondary target, the infantry. And you fired the right ammunition, HE set for delayed action. In most situations, you can expect the terrain around an anti-tank gun to be mined. That's why you use HE to knock out the gun crew and demolish the gun from close range, and then skirt around the emplacement, giving it plenty of room. <laughs> 